Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Will's Treasures. I have something super exciting for you tonight. It's another coin box hunt. Let me show you what I have in front of me here and I hope you get as excited as I am. Right here we have a full box of nickels. We have a full box of quarters here. And I was kind of tossing it up. What do we do? Quarters, nickels, quarters, nickels. Well, I'm kind of in a nickel mood, okay? Haven't done a box of nickels in a little while. I'm going to save these quarters for another time. And we're going to bust these open. We're going to see if we can find any key dates, semi-key dates, varieties, um, oddities, anything cool. Because I usually have pretty good luck with the nickels. I wanted to share something with you first. And this is what I got in the mail today, okay? It's a Silver Eagle from graded from PCGS MS69 First Strike. And I won this in a coin grab bag. Beautiful, beautiful coin. Definitely going in the collection. Love these slabbed Silver Eagles. So I wanted to share that with you. And I also wanted to make sure that if you enjoy coin roll box hunting, uh, please like, share, and subscribe because there's going to be many, many more videos. I got more boxes on order. So there's going to be plenty of content and plenty of goodies to find. And once I hit 100 subs, I'm getting there. I'm getting, you know, I'm, all, I'm over halfway there. Once I hit 100 subs, I'm going to have a great giveaway. So please subscribe now. And the first 100 subs are going to go into the giveaway and somebody's going to win something pretty cool. So let's get right to it. I'm going to bust this box open right in front of you. And just to show you that they're uncirculated. We'll see what we have here. Oh. Yes, definitely uncirculated. See if I have any enders here. I don't see any buffaloes or V-nickels or anything like this. This one looks a little old. So we're going to have to take a look at that. But we're going to jump right into it. And I'll loop you back in when we find something cool. Nothing in that first roll. So we're going to open the second one right in front of you here. See if there's anything standing out. One that looks a little, a little dark. What is this one here? I don't know if you can see that. It's a crusty one, but we're going to take a look at that a little closer. See what we can see here. Put it up on the microscope it's just a 1980 and i do use a microscope to go through these oh there's a good one all right cool let me show you what i just found here okay it's 1939 very cool very cool second roll any mint mark on it no mint mark Pretty beat up, but a 1939. So if you don't have one of these microscopes, you definitely want to get one for yourself. I'll have a link down in the bottom, you know, under this video where you can uh, where you can grab one of these. You can go check it out yourself. But that was very cool. So we're gonna put the 1939. All the way over there, that is the oldest one so far. Let's see if anything else stands out to me here. Something else. 64. Going to get a lot of 64s, I know that. Super common date. What do we got there? 73. Another 64. All right, so I'm going to blast through these, and I will loop you back in when we find something else. 
All right, roll number three. See what we can find. Open it up right in front of you here. So not only are we looking for the goodies, the key dates and stuff like that, I keep any 2009s. I'm also looking for 2004s because they have doubling. Um, you know, so there's some there's some other ones out there that oh there's 1970s. Okay, 1970s. I keep all the S mint marks also because they're not as common. So definitely a good find. Put the S's up top here. I got my nickel mat here. Oh, here's here's an old one. What do we got? 70D. Um what we got here. 1962. All right, I don't keep anything in the 60s. This one's pretty chewed up. Um, anything 59 or earlier, I'll keep. That's just my preference. You know, other people, they'll keep, uh, they'll keep a lot of the older ones. We got there. But that's what I like to keep. So let me blast through these and see if we, oh, there's one. All right, cool. I'm glad I didn't let you guys go. There's 1941. All right, 1941. Let's see if there's a mint mark. No mint mark. So 1941 from Philly. Nice coin. Second oldest of the box third roll I think we're doing pretty good so far so let me go finish going through these and I'll bring you in on the next roll all right no, roll number five and I see an older one here haven't looked at it yet oh we got a 1954 look at that 1954 Definitely take that. Let's see if there's a mint mark. 1954 from Denver. Very cool. All right, so we got one in the 50s. So we got one in the 30s, one in the 40s, one in the 50s. And we also got an S mint mark. So let me just flip through these. Oh, what do we got? 64. See if I see any older ones. Nothing's catching my eye right off the bat, but I'm going to go through these a little better. And see if we can come up with something cool. So I'll loop you back in when we find something. Alright, we're on the next roll here, and I'm going to flip through this real quick and see if we find anything old. Nothing yet. Oh, this one. What do we got here? Here we go. All right. We got another 1954. And we're going to see if there's a mint mark on this one also. 1954D. All right. That's two of them. Two 1954Ds. I'll definitely take that. Add that to the stack here. Here's, oh, this one looks 73. All right, let me go through the rest of these and I'll loop you back in if we find something else. All right, roll number eight here, just busted it open. And if you can see right here, we have one that's looking pretty old. So we're going to put that underneath the scope, see exactly what it is. And we got a 1940. Second oldest one so far. Let's see if there's a mint mark on it. 
no mint mark so 1940 from philly i will take that one for sure second oldest one so far still have a lot more to go so that one's gonna go up on the board there we'll do a quick quick look through the rest of these see what we got oh all right there's another one there oh sorry about this here but we just got another one out of the same roll 1954 a little beat up but we got a 1954 let's see uh there's a mint mark because the 1954 had an s over d we have a d looks a little chunky i'm gonna have to look it down a little bit closer but I don't know if there's something off to the left of that D or not, but a 1954D, that one we're going to put up on the board here. We're going to take a closer look at it later, and I'm going to go through the rest of these and see what else we have. So I'll loop you back in when I find something else. Very next roll, we got one right here. I'm going to put it up on the scope. And it's a 1957. All right, 1957. See if there's a mint mark. 1957 Denver. Good coin. Good coin. All right, so that one's going up on the board. Put that one right there. Let's blast through, see if we see any other older ones that are sticking out nothing's popping out for me so i'll bring you back in when we find something else all right just dumped out another roll and i see an old one sitting right up here we're going to take a look at this together we got a 1942 Could it be a war nickel? Flip it over. Oh, no mint mark up there. So 42 from Philly. Good coin. Good coin. We're going to add that to the mat up here. Starting to get a nice range of dates in the 40s. And... Let me just flip through the rest of these, see what we got, if I see any other old ones, what we got there, nope, nineteen sixty three. You said I only keep the ones 59 or earlier. Let me know in the comments if you keep any of the ones in the 60s and why. You know, why do you do that? There's a 67. So I'm going to go through the rest of these, put them underneath the scope, see if I find any oddities, varieties, or old ones. So I'll loop you back in if I find something. Right. <laughs> We just found another oldie sitting right here. We're going to put it on the scope and let you see what I see. And it's a 1939. Nice. Second 1939 in the box. Let's see if there is a mint mark. No mint mark. Oh, we were looking for that 39 S or D. Maybe next time. All right. Still, oldest in the box, 1939. Love it. Put that one up on the board with the other one. And let me go through the rest of these. 
see if I see anything else that's old. Nah, that one fooled me. Ooh, that one's beat up. There's one that's a little darker. 75. All right, let me put these underneath the mic, underneath the scope, and see what else we can find. Oh, yeah, my friends, we found something cool. I have it underneath the scope already, as you can see. But let's take a look at this. You can clearly see the doubling on the two, all on the inside and there, on the O, another O. You have it on the Liberty also, on the T. Now I'm gonna move this coin around a little bit and we'll show you, you can see it on the in, But let me flip this over and take a look at this. Look at on the U, sorry. Tons of doubling here, okay? You have it on the U, on the N, you have it on the T. Look at the E here. Look at that doubling on the D and the D, both sides. Clear doubling on the S. I mean, all these letters. The T is all splayed out. I mean, there it's on all of the letters. The A is all splayed out. The T, the E, the S is all doubled. I mean, clear, defined lines in there. Okay, you have it in the O also. You see that defining line up here on the five cents where it says five cents. It's on there. The cent up there. You see it on the N. Um, it's even all over the Monticello. You can see it. Oh, sorry. But you can see it on the N and the T. So we have a coin here that has some severe doubling going on. And I'm going to have to take a closer look at other parts of it to see what else is going on. You can barely make out the initials. But as soon as I seen the date, I said, well, there's something going on here. So cool fine. Let me know what you think about it. 2006 Denver does have some damage and wear, but all in all, I think it's a fantastic example of a double die coin. So, you be the judge. Let me know down in the comments. And we're going to get right back to it. Let's see if there's anything else in this roll that's gonna jump out before I start looking at them a little more closely what's that one 83 so I'll loop you back in if I find something else cool I just opened up this roll and I see a couple suspicious ones got a dark one down here at the bottom one another dark one in the middle here's one up top so we're gonna start up here and see what these are. What do we got? First one is 2002. Just look kind of dark. Next one. What does that say? Oh, there's a good one. There's a 1941. So, put it up on the scope for you. 1941. Any mint mark? Oh, and an S mint mark. Look at that. Nice. 1941 S. I don't think uh, 
anything super special about that, but it is an S Mint mark, and you know how I like those. So, 1941S. Very nice. And there was one more. So, we're going to put the 41 down here. There was one more in here. Looked a little, little old. Nope, it fooled us. 1985. All right, so we'll go through the rest of these. See if anything jumps out at me. 63. Don't need any 63s. What is that one? 64. All right, so I'm going to go through the rest of these. I'll loop you back in when I find something. Very next roll, we had a 1970S. I'm going to put it underneath the scope for you real quick. Like I said, I love the S Mint Marks, so I keep them all. All right, another one up on the board. Very cool, very cool. No enders. Again, I'm going to open up another one right in front of you here. See if anything pops out to us. Come on. Everything looks normal in that roll. So I'll loop you back in if we find something cool. All right, roll 16 just produced two S Mint marks. And they're both... 1969 I'm gonna put them up on the microscope real quick show you what I'm seeing 1969 s I keep all the s mint marks I just like them uh, here's the other one another 1969 s not well, the back's a little beat up. Front's not too bad. But two 1969 S's. Still got a bunch to go. So, keeping all the S mint marks up top here. So, we got four of those. We got a couple, one in the 50s, a few in the 40s, a couple 39s. So, I'm kind of happy with the way the hunt's going right now. And we're going to break into another roll right in front of you and see if anything special is in this roll. A couple dark ones. Here's one here. That one's just really, really beat up. 1976. And here's another one right here. Another one that's just pretty beat up. 84. So let me just flip through these real quick. See if I see any oldies that stand out to me. If I do, we'll get them underneath the scope right away. that one 69 okay nothing's jumping out at me so we'll put them on the scope and see if I can find any varieties or anything else special maybe some more S mint marks so I'll loop you in when I find one all right, a couple rolls later, and we found two coins. First one is a foreign Canadian nickel, and the date is 1986. So we're going to keep that one. And then we found, I believe it's a 1948. So we're going to put that up on the scope and let you see what I see. 1948 Let's See if there's a mint mark on it 
No mint mark. So 1948 from Philly. Would have been nice if it was a 48S, which would have been a semi-key date. But just a plain 1948 from Philly. So we'll definitely keep it. Put it up on the board. And get right back to it. All right, halfway through the box, and we just found another one in the 50s. It's a 1954. It's in pretty good condition. I'm going to put it underneath the scope and uh, take a better look at it. 1954. Let's see if there is a mint mark. Denver. 1954 Denver. All right, very cool. Another good find. Like I said, halfway through the box. And we're starting to get a lot of nice keepers. So we're going to get right to the next roll. No enders. I'm going to pop it open in front of you real quick. And then we'll see if there's anything sticking out to us. Don't see anything sticking out. So, bust through these real quick. This is 64. Another one looks a little old. 56. We got a 56. Very cool. Have you take a better look at it here. 1956. Let's flip her over and see if there's a mint mark. No mint mark. 1956 from Philly. Pretty worn. But another one up on the board. That's what matters. So let me just take a quick look through these. See if anything else is standing out to me here. This one looks a little old. 62. What do we got there? Oh, baby. Yes, we got another one. Take a look at this. I'm excited. 1939. That's a good one. Now, let's hope that there's a mint mark on this. We're looking for the 39D or the 39S. Let's reveal it together. Oh, 39 Philadelphia. All right. We'll take it anyway. Good find. Put it up on the board. And we'll get right back to it. All right, just came across this 1941. Let's put it underneath the scope and see what we find. 1941, see if there's a mint mark on it. No mint mark. 1941 from Philly. Good find. I'm liking that. So we're going to add that to the board. See if there's something else here. This one looks a little old. 1962. Rest don't look old, so I'll loop you back in if we find something else. All right, so we had a dry spell for a little bit, but we came back strong with this roll. We got three of them. Let me show you the first one. It's a 1961. Uh... But it's in fantastic condition. I mean, look at the luster on it. Both sides. You don't see them too often like this in circulation. You can get them up on the scope for you and you can take a little better look. I mean, it's just in fantastic condition. Even the back side. I mean, for it to be a 1961 and... and 
be in this good of shape. I'm sure it was in somebody's collection for a while. So definitely going to keep that one. And the other ones that we got, we got a 1959. I haven't looked to see if there's a mint mark yet. 1959D from Denver. All right. 59D. That definitely goes up on the board. And the other one, a little older, 1948. Let's see if there's a mint mark on this one. This one's pretty worn. No mint mark, so it's from Philly. So we got a 1948 from Philly. Pretty excited about finding three in one roll. And we have, what do we got? Two, four, six, eight rolls left. So once we find something else, I'll loop you back in. Wish me luck. A few rolls, but we found three of them in this roll. We found an S mint mark in 1970, which is right here. No, I'm sorry, right here. Yep, so we're going to put it up on the scope, show you 1970S. You know I keep all the S mint marks. So that one's going up on the board. Next one we found was a 1940. Let's see if there's a mint mark on it. No mint mark. So 1940 from Philly. And we also got a 1956. Let's see if there's a mint mark on that one. No mint mark. So 1956 from Philly. Gonna put those up on the board in 1940, which is right over here. We're doing pretty good. We got 10 more rolls to go. And I'll loop you back in when we find something else. We got roll number roll number 30 here, and there was one that's Got a different color to it, a little suspicious. I want to check that one out right there. She's a little crusty, but we're going to put it underneath the scope and we got a 1969S. All right, let me show you that. I'll dump these out. Oh, we'll go through these in a minute. Well, we got a 1969S, and you know I love the S mint marks, even though this has definitely seen better days. Um, I keep all the S mint marks, so definitely going up on the board. And we're going to zip through these and see if I see anything else that stands out while I got the camera going so we can show you another oldie I hope so who else collects the S mint marks put down in the comments hey, there we go there's another S we got a 70 S all right so we're going to keep that one too. Good find. That one's going to go up on the board there. What do we got there? 79. This one looks a little... Uh, that one just fooled me. All right. So I'm going to go through these a little, little better. If I find anything else, I'll loop you back in. Two finds. We have a 2009 nickel. That's the first one in the box. Usually I get more than that. But I keep all my 2009s uh, just because there wasn't that many minted. There was only like 46 million of the 2009D minted. So I'm keeping them. They're hard to find. The other one is a 1970S. And you know I love the S mint mark. So that's definitely a keeper for me. So let's bust into the next roll and see what we get. <clears throat> roll number 32. We just came across this 1953. Put it up on the scope. 1953. Pretty beat up. 
Let's see if there's a mint mark. No mint mark. 1953 from Philly. Cool find. This is why I love hunting nickels so much. Very next roll. We got a 1946. Let's toss it up on the microscope. 1946. Let's see if there's a mint mark. Denver. 1946 Denver. All right. Very cool. Another one to add to the board in the 40s. Three rolls left. Loop you in when I find something else. Roll number 33. We got two of them in the 50s. All right. We're going to put them on the scope. Let's see what I see. We got a 1955. I have not checked for a mint mark yet. But let's hope for the semi-key date if it's a... 55 from Philadelphia. So we don't want to see a mint mark. Denver. 55 from Denver. Not a semi key date, but still a good find. Going to go up on the board. And the other one was a 1959. Let's see if there's a mint mark on there. And that's from Denver also. So a 55 and a 59. From Denver. Can't go wrong with two finds in one roll. So, no enders there. I'll loop you back in when we find something else. All right, the last roll of the box. We pulled a 1968S. Put it on the scope for you so you can check it out. Nice coin. I keep all the S mint marks because I don't find them too often. So 1968 S that's going up top here. Now I'm going to go through these. I'm going to do a wrap up. I'll let you know what I found and what the best finds were. And I'll be right back. All right. So let's wrap this up and we'll go through them real quick. We got Three thirty nines, so three in the thirties. We got nine of them in the forties. No war nickels. Kind of bummed about that, but we got nine in the forties, and we got twelve in the fifties. No semi key dates. Um, thought we came close. We had a couple nineteen fifty fives, but uh, they were the Denver Mint. We have this Stunner that is a nineteen. Uh, what was it? It was a 1961 beautiful coin, definitely going in the album. Just don't see them like that in circulation. We have uh, we have 10 S mint marks, okay, varying dates from 68, 69, 70 S. So we got those. We have the one Canadian nickel and the one 2009 Denver. Uh, nickel so that's it that's everything there's my microscope if you're interested in the microscope or the camera that I use I'm gonna have links down in the comments so please like share and subscribe if you enjoy hunting coin rolls with me and I will catch you guys on the next video very next roll, we got a 1954 and a 1955. We can put them both on the scope and check for mint marks. There's a 55. And we have a D, 1955 Denver. There's your 54. Another Denver mint. So 54, 55 nickels. All right, very cool. We have four rolls to go, so let's get back to it.